Sometimes expressions with radicals can look quite intimidating. You can simplify complex radical expressions using the following steps. Start by converting any radicals into exponential form. Next, use the appropriate exponent laws to simplify the expression as much as possible. Check the denominator and see if it has any fractional exponents. If so, rationalize them. If you're asked to express the answer in radical form, convert anything with fractional exponents back into radicals. Let's do an example. We're asked to simplify the expression the fifth root of a to the fourth divided by the cube root of a to the fifth and express the answer in radical form. We assume that a is not equal to zero. We start by converting radicals into exponential form to give us this expression. Applying the quotient rule, a to the four fifths divided by a to the five thirds is equal to a to the four fifths minus five thirds, which is the same as a to the 12 fifteenths minus 25 fifteenths. 12 fifteenths minus 25 fifteenths equals negative 13 fifteenths. So we have a to the negative 13 fifteenths. Remember something to a negative exponent is the same as its reciprocal to a positive exponent. So a to the negative 13 fifteenths is the same as 1 over a to the 13 fifteenths. We'll continue our solution up here. We have a fractional exponent in the denominator, so we must rationalize the denominator to get rid of this fractional exponent. We do this by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by a to the 2 fifteenths. We can remove the 1 from the numerator, and looking at the denominator, a to the 13 fifteenths times a to the 2 fifteenths is equal to a to the 13 fifteenths plus 2 fifteenths. a to the 13 fifteenths plus 2 fifteenths equals a to the 15 fifteenths. a to the 15 fifteenths is equal to just a to the first, or simply a. So we're left with the expression a to the 2 fifteenths divided by a. We were asked to express the answer in radical form, so we must convert the numerator a to the 2 fifteenths to radical form. 15 is the index of the radical and 2 is the exponent of a. So a to the 2 fifteenths is converted to the 15th root of a squared. And our final answer is the 15th root of a squared over a. Here is the complete solution to this problem. It's a good idea to pause the video here and review all the steps. Let's do another example. We're given this complex looking expression and we're asked to simplify it and express the answer in radical form. We assume that y is not equal to zero. We convert the expression to radical form. The fifth root of y squared is y to the 2 fifths. And taking the cube root of x to the 15th over y to the 2 fifths is the equivalent of raising it to the power of 1 third. Applying the power rule for a quotient gives us x to the power of 15 times 1 third over y to the power of 2 fifths times 1 third. Simplifying this gives us x to the fifth over y to the 2 fifteenths. Looking at this, we see there is a fractional exponent in the denominator. So we must rationalize the denominator. We do this by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by y to the 13 fifteenths. We'll continue our solution up here. y to the 2 fifteenths times y to the 13 fifteenths equals y to the 2 fifteenths plus 13 fifteenths which equals y to the 15 fifteenths. And y to the 15 fifteenths is equal to y to the 1, or just y. So we're left with x to the 5th times y to the 13 fifteenths over y. But we're asked to express the answer in radical form. So we must convert y to the 13 fifteenths to radical form. 15 is the index of the radical, and 13 is the exponent of y. So y to the 13 fifteenths is converted to the 15th root 
of y to the thirteenth. And the final answer is x to the fifth times the fifteenth root of y to the thirteenth over y. Here's the complete solution to this problem. It's a good idea to pause the video here and review all the steps yourself. In summary, these are the main steps to follow when simplifying more complex radical expressions. Start by converting any radicals into exponential form. Next, use the appropriate exponent laws to simplify the expression as much as possible. Check the denominator and see if it has any fractional exponents. If so, rationalize them. If you're asked to express the answer in radical form, convert anything with fractional exponents back into radicals. To get good at doing these, you need lots of practice.